Climber is the first to bring indoor climbing to connected fitness. But more than that, they are also really the first to make a vertical climber look as good as it feels to use. With dozens of options available for connected fitness bikes and treadmills and rowers, Climber certainly distinguishes itself from the pack. There is nothing else quite like this, with an impressively small floor space needed and arguably providing a more effective, functional, and biomechanically safer workout than other options. With its growing library of classes, monthly challenges, and more, there is a lot that makes Climber a fantastic option for anybody's home. That said, as with everything, it also has its share of flaws as well. A small and fairly weak range of resistance limits its potential, and the touchscreen and UI doesn't always feel the greatest at times, and the cost, at least at full price, feels a bit too high for what's here. This is Colin Jenkins with Connect the Watts. Subscribe for the latest in connected fitness, and welcome to my review of Climber. I've always loved using machines like the Versa Climber in my training, but Climber really took that idea and improved upon it significantly within its design. For one, they got rid of the center pull, which has always felt sort of awkward to stare at, and replaced it with a two pull design, opening up the middle, and of course, adding a 22 inch HT touchscreen, but pushed back further so it's not so close to your face. And not only does this look better and feel better to use, but it also opens up additional options as well. The center surface space holds a single knob which controls the machine's resistance and there is a lot of extra space here that you can use to place your phone or whatever you would like and the space is also used for a variety of movements. With a handhold on the bottom of the back which you can reach over or underneath it allows for more diversity in the angles that you can use climber with which as I'll discuss in a bit is one of the hidden benefits of this machine. Similar to other climbers there are also dip bar handles that you can hold on to as well. Above of all this are the two main handles which can be used with three different hand positions, pronated, neutral, and supine to help change up the primary upper body muscle groups being used. And these handles can also be folded up out of the way for the lower body focused movements where your hands will be placed onto the handholds or the dip bar I mentioned earlier. These handles can also be adjusted for your personal height and changing the height isn't too difficult, though it can be a little bit harder for the shorter of the two people sharing for them to be able to easily make that adjustment. The HD touchscreen itself looks nice and I especially like the the extra large volume buttons on the side where you can adjust both the volume of the instructor and music separately. The screen can also be adjusted forward and backward to help you get the perfect setup. The screen will go to sleep when you press the button in the back, but to turn it off, you will need to hold that back button. And the reason that I mention this is because there were several times when the tablet would sort of freeze up and I would have trouble getting it to work. And I finally figured out that this would happen after I left it in rest mode for a while rather than do a complete shutdown. I also found that the tablet does have some issues with getting a good strong internet connection, often warning me that my connection was poor and there were several times where the class had to stop to buffer and this isn't a problem that I've had on any other device. My internet connection here is very fast, well over 200 megabytes down per second, so I'm not really sure what the issue is. In terms of the resistance, it can be adjusted from levels one to 11 and while there is definitely a difference between the lowest and the highest levels, it's really not a lot of resistance. Level one feels like no resistance, and if you go all the way up to level 11, you feel a little resistance. And that's not the end of the world, as I was still able to get great workouts with Climber, but having used climbers that offered a lot more resistance in the past, it feels unfortunate not to have that here. The Climber website says superior cardio and strength, but with minimal resistance, I don't think the strength aspect is really going to be here for most users. That said, I do want to discuss the climbing movement. As I did mention that it is arguably better for many people than running, biking, and potentially even rowing. And there are a few reasons for that. One is because how easy it is to maintain good form and posture. With biking and rowing, a lot of people around their backs and create a lot of compression, which can lead to back pain or injuries over time. And with the climber, you really don't see that happen. And I also really like it because it allows for a huge range of motion. Both legs and arms can go to full extension, which is pretty impressive, also considering that there is little to no impact. In fact, when I sprained my foot six weeks ago, 
I was using the climber the very next day, which at that point I couldn't even walk yet, uh, just to give you an idea of how low impact it really is. And when it comes to the overall design, it's hard to overstate just how nice the climber looks. It really is just a beautiful looking piece of fitness equipment. Like most connected fitness devices, almost everything on climber besides a basic just climb mode is locked behind a $39 monthly membership. In terms of the coaches and classes themselves, they are well done with a surprising amount of variety. I never realized prior to Climber just how many variations of tempo and arm positions and body positions and different lengths and combinations that could all be thrown together, but there's actually quite a lot. So with that variety and with most classes coordinated around a specific music playlist, the classes really are a lot of fun and enjoyable to take. There are also boot camp classes here, which mix climbing, with body weight or dumbbell work, which is sort of brutal, but a very nice combination and adds even more value to the membership. There are more workout categories here as well, but some of them feel sort of half-baked, like the benchmark mode where you can take up to three tests every 60 days. There's some strength and mobility classes, but there's just not a lot there. Uh, there's a new challenge mode, which is okay. And honestly, the only time I've ever seen users names because evidently you can add friends with Climber, but since there's no leaderboard outside of this mode, I'm sure most people don't even realize that that's an option. There are monthly challenges, which are nice, and there is a bad reward system. And a lot of this, it's good, but it feels just a bit cluttered and hard to navigate through. And the entire platform sort of feels this way, including the UI and the metrics. Like I feel like it is well overdue for a makeover or for somebody to put a lot more love into its presentation. None of this is particularly bad, mind you, just compared to other platforms that charge this amount, Climber feels a bit behind the ball here. And you can also connect your headphones and your heart rate monitor to Climber, but the workout tracking and the stats here are very limited. So I found almost no point in connecting my heart rate monitor. Also because there's no way to export your workouts to a third party app like Strava either. And that brings me to my overall number one issue with Climber and that is the price because I like the machine and I love its design and I think the membership is pretty darn solid, but the cost of everything doesn't feel quite in line with what's being offered. And I sort of understand the original $2,799 price because, well, Versa climbers and other climbers are really pricey like that too. But when you compare the quality here to other options like connected fitness bikes and rowers, it feels like a bit much. Now, I have seen them drop the price all the way to $1,799, which feels much more in line with the quality quality here. And the $39 per month membership, which I know is common for some other platforms. And while I do like the content, I feel like Climber just doesn't have enough additional strength or mobility or variety or built out programs or live classes or leaderboards or really the polish it needs to justify that price quite yet. It's not an outrageous membership cost, but it feels a bit high since other platforms that charge this amount also offer a little bit more. Climber also has an app that you can search through the workouts with, but unfortunately you can't take any of the classes on the app itself, which considering that there are some strength and mobility classes included, I would love to be able to take those off of the climber if possible. So the climber, great design, unique and effective workouts, fun to use, but also pretty pricey as well, especially for a monthly membership cost, which I do feel needs to offer a bit more to make it worth it. This is Colin Jenkins with Connect the Watts. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like it, appreciate you being here, and I'll see you next time.